Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Little Snitch in the configuration panel and we're going to talk about uh, some of the other features that we have as a part of Little Snitch. Uh, the other neat uh, piece that is on here is you actually have profiles where you have different profiles that can be set up. So for instance, I've got things that are effective in all profiles. So these things, no matter what profile I set up, are effective. But I could set up other profiles for different locations. Uh, so the neat thing is I could set up a profile if I'm in a coffee shop or something like that and I don't want other people to uh, get access to certain things. I just want to kind of shut everything down. And so I can click this little plus down here and say new profile. And what I can do is I can create a profile that says, you know, coffee shops. Okay, so that becomes my becomes my profile. Now, what I would do is I would, uh, you know, right click on this and I would say, uh, you know, assign networks, right, so that I can give it more. Now it says, oop, to, in order to do that, you've got to open your preferences and enable it. And so I've got to be able to enable the, the information here for these profiles. So I'm going to enable automatic profile switching so that uh, when I join an un unknown network, what will it do? It'll just ask me. And uh, I'll save the geolocation of the networks too if I, if I can do that, if it's able to find it. Okay, so I'm going to set that up there. Uh, the other thing I need to do too is I need to, uh, you notice here, just make sure that I've got uh, this allow profile switching to happen and uh, make sure that that's checked and I think I've got everything I need there. We'll see if it, uh, if it lets me go through this time. So I'm going to control click and I'm going to say assign networks and it's going to say okay there aren't any pro networks yet so I'm going to assign a cur the current network. And so what I can do is if I assign the current network and it wants to know my location I say okay. If I assign the current network and now of course this comes up it's going to look for the location. I'm going to say yep that's okay to do forever and the same for this one. And now it says that there's my there's my network. So if I happen to be in a coffee shop or something like that, you know, I could I could use that network as well if I wanted to. And you can see here if I just click this little arrow here, uh, a little another configuration there. I'm going to let that go. That what happens is is it's trying to load a map and it shows uh, on the map uh, where I'm where I'm located. It gives me a little uh, star there, a little information. I've got a drop down here where I can show uh, no networks are updated. I'm going to go back here. And so what's great is I've got this profile now that actually uh, is set up for the location that I'm at. Now, as I add these profiles, I can add different profiles and I can set them up with more details as to what I want to uh, allow to happen or not happen. And uh, I can do automatic profile switching, which is turned on. And what that means is if I'm on a laptop and I leave one environment to the other and it knows I'm in that network, it'll change to whatever I've set up in this particular profile that's sitting right here. So let me just pop this down. So let's say uh, that I want to add uh, more rules to this, right? I want to set up the specific profiles for this. And you can see these are all the processes that are effective on all profiles. So it just kind of protects me from hurting my machine because I need these things to talk no matter where I go. But let's say I want to put some specifics uh, in here. And let's say I want to add a rule. So what I would do is if you look at this here, I can come in here and actually add a rule. Let me just uh, let me turn off these so you can see that it's blank there. I'm going to add a new rule in here. And I'm going to uh, deny connections that are incoming. Okay, so it's more of a firewall type of rule. And I'm going to do it for um, basically a system process. Let's say I want to block SSH while I'm out. I don't want anybody to get a hold of that. I would come in here to users on bin, and I could just scroll down and find uh, you know SSH. And let's just see if I can find that in here. All right, so here we go. Let's go down to SSH and... Yeah, let's see, I passed it. There we go. So let's say right here, and I want to just hi I want to choose that, and I'm going to block these connections. Uh, I'm the process owner on this. I can leave that as that, and just say OK. And now you can see it says that I'm going to deny these connections, these incoming connections. It's a firewall rule that's red, and it's effective when I'm in coffee shops. Okay, when I'm in this particular network. All right. So again, you'd want to set this up when you're in your coffee shop or whatever if you're going to set up the sort of network connect. Uh, but anyways, it shows it denies it. Now, if I show all the rules, you can see that it has all the rules that are effective for all machines on here. But if I scroll down here, 
you can see my SSH rule is there and you can see it's only effective when I'm in this particular profile. So it gives you a great ability on things like laptops and stuff like that to be able to set up these rules and it has recognition that when you're in that particular network it'll go oh okay these rules are in effect and it'll make the switch over and it's a great way to be able to protect yourself based on different situations that you're in and uh, it really does have a lot of uh, a lot of flexibility. So as you can see, uh, Little Snitch is, is kind of a great uh, uh, profile type system with firewalls and in and outs that works really nice. Uh, I'd still recommend maybe even just running it with the built-in firewall uh, since they kind of go together. This uh, built-in firewall will give you the general rules and this will allow you some fine tuning. Uh, but it really is a great tool. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.